Well, there are finally signs after a frustrating start to the season that things are starting to go Clan's way. Currently sitting in the number one position in the Gardner Conference, they're fifth in the Elite League, but a win tonight could see them jump up into fourth place. They've also got the top three scorers in the league currently playing for them in the shape of Scott Pitt, Matt Becker and Alex Levitt, all in the one, two, three positions. Their opponents tonight, the Coventry Blaze, have been on mixed form recently, although they have won their last three games. And the last time these two teams met, it was the Blaze who took away a 3-2 victory. Former clan man Benny Davis coming back to haunt his old team with an assist and a goal. he would certainly be one to look out for as he comes back to his old stomping ground. Two other players to look out for will be Snyder and Almeida. The two American cousins came in last month and have made a real impact for the Coventry Blaze. Will they be enough to overcome the clan in their own barn or will the clan continue to climb up the league? There's only one way to find out. Let's go ringside. Mark out. Let's try and create something off the boards. And move it away again, it's Callum Boyd. Boyd being challenged by TJ Siner. No opportunity there. From Barry Almeida goes wide. On the turn, it's a chance here. Tchaikovsky with the block, excellent save from the clan goalie. Eventually get one, it's TJ Siner tucking it in at the back post. Tchaikovsky beating it last, just after that great opportunity was saved by the clan goalie. And Almeida gets the first goal of the night, 1-0 Blaze. Scored by number 14, TJ Siner. Assisted by 28, Matt Marqua. Time of the goal, Good 11 time. minutes and 59 seconds. Has to move it quickly out of his own zone. Play, scored by 14, assisted by 28. Time of the goal, 11.59. Now the Blaze, sensing a bit of momentum here. And there's a second one, it's Robin Bergman. Fires it past Sikorsky. That's a quick fire second for the away team. Set up by Jim Jorgensen. Wonderful finish from Robin Bergman. It's 2 0 Blaze. The 5 1 3 will last another four seconds, and Josh Godfrey will return to the ice. Levitt, Arson, fans willing the clan on here. Pitt had a chance saved. There it is! Matt Becker flashes one past Brian Stewart, just as Josh Godfrey. Returning to the ice, and have the goal back. 1.56 into the second period, Matt Becker makes it plan one, place two. Robinson. Robinson going with him, Sullivan. Godfrey to the near side, Barry Almeida's here, number nine. Godfrey one-timer into the net from the blue line, that's a good finish from the Coventry number 15. Zajkowski didn't know too much about it until it flashed over his shoulder and into the net, Blaze reopened their two-goal lead, clan one, Blaze three. Steiner loses his helmet, has to go off the ice straight away. Steiner loses his helmet, not challenge there. Referee blew the whistle. explaining to Jay Rosehill and Jordan Petrus the state of play. Blaze penalty to be served in the Nairnbrook Printer sponsored penalty box. On number 14, TJ Siner, two minutes for use of illegal equipment plus a 10 minute unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Keith 
Nathan Davis. And it's Pitt that has it. Clan win that face off. Scott Larson takes it. And the ball, the fans trying to G the team on here. They've got that man advantage. As TJ Siner takes a seat. Larson along the boards. Timer Stewart beaten for a second time. Plan two, place three. Plan just moving it around inside the Coventry zone, just looking for that little gap. But we'll hope will allow them to take the puck beyond Brian Stewart for what would be an equalising goal if it was to come off. Levitt, Becker. Finds Pitt on this near side. Just escapes from him, has to play it along the backboards for Levitt. Keith. Tries to sweep it in and he's blocked off. Now Liam Stewart goes himself. It's a one on three situation. And he scored from it. Liam Stewart, what a goal from the Coventry Blaze. A great solo effort. Some guys have all the luck. It's Liam Stewart. A wonderful finish from the Blaze number 74. Short handed goal. Coventry, 4 2 ahead. Plan still on the power plate. 35 seconds left. It's Wharton. Now Hammond. And Levitt pulls one back. Wharton pulls it back. Wonderful effort from the number 72. A one-timer. Flash past Brian Stewart. Plan get themselves to within one again. The pass to the number 72. Wharton just looked up, saw when he was putting it, and Stewart was beaten. It's 4-3. Penalty there, it doesn't come. Wharton. Peacock has it. Now, Blaze move it forward, it's Davis. It's another one from Stewart, another short handed goal. Another excellent finish from number 74 for Coventry Blaze. And they go 5-3 ahead with 10.30 left to go. And Blaze back to full strength. Jordan Peters back on the ice. Cowick inside for Levitt. Keith. Goes wide. Petrus now. Sign up. It's blocked. Sainer again looks for Petrus. And hits off the plexi. One more goal should do it. TJ Sainer has it swept in. In front of the crease, Sykowski beaten again. Plan goes 6 3 down. A three goal lead has opened up now. Leaving a tall order for the clan with just under 10 to go. Inside the final three minutes now. I think it's a case of another one. Just out of clan's grasp. Wonderful finish from Corey Cowick though. Looked up, saw where he wanted to place it, sent it past Brian Stewart. Plan, get one back, it's 6-4. Wonderful play from Corey Cowick. Heading into the Coventry zone, had a quick look up, saw where Brian Stewart was. And there you are, it's a fourth one for the clan tonight. And we'll look for something here, Zykowski's been pulled. 
Clan look to try and shut that, that deficit they have. It's only two goals now. Kerry's goal gives them a glimmer of hope. Two Clan can get something eight. quickly. It would set up two quite minutes. a finish. And who knows, it's been one of those games. Becker with a the chance there. Sent away by Stewart's blocker. Becker again. Back to Arson. Keith. Coventry move out of their own zone. Signers there. And there's the empty net finish. TJ Signer setting up Barry Almeida. And that's that one. Coventry's seventh goal of the night, the breakaway. Signer turning, setting up Barry Almeida. The easiest goal he will ever score. And he makes it 7 4 for the Blaze. So obviously not the result we want tonight, but for great periods of the game, Clan very much in it for, for big swathes of the game. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, their goalie played well and kind of kept us at bay when we had all those power plays a little bit. And, uh, you know, we had some chances with rebounds and stuff that he just got a pad on or, you know, got a glove on there or something like that. And it's tough. I mean, that's hockey. They capitalized on their chances more than we did, I guess. One of the major plus points at the moment has been your relationship with, with Scott Pitt. Yet again tonight, still firing on all cylinders. You also have uh, spot one and two in the league. At least take some solace from that, and that kind of performance playing well. I mean, you always want to play well, but I mean, I would have taken no points tonight to get two for the team. So it's, it's kind of tough, but anytime that we can score and contribute to the team winning, that's what you want to do. And I mean, that's, that's obviously why we're here and we're going to try and continue to do that. And, you know, turn some of the losses into wins, hopefully. Obviously, it's been you know, a tough result tonight, but heading over to Fife tomorrow, a, a barn they've had a lot of luck with, even though it's been difficult games, surely a good chance there to get kind of back into the good books. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. Uh, I think we've won both our games there so far this year, so we got to go in there with the same mindset. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be loud in there, and the fans are right on top of you, and I'm sure they're going to be ready to go. Uh, so we have to go in there and just get back to work and, you know, hopefully play physical and uh, get off to a good start. Thank you very much. Good luck tomorrow. All right. Cheers, buddy. Thanks. So, Ryan, obviously not the result that you wanted tonight, but for huge periods of the game, Clan very much in contention, weren't they? Yeah, I think uh, obviously we got behind again early, which is uh, <laughs> something we've been doing a lot here, we're chasing a lot of games. But, uh, you know, we, we clawed our way back. Our power play got us back into the game, and, and we, felt, uh, we felt good going into the third. Um, you know, one goal down, but we've been fighting and, and felt that we were we were coming strong. And then, you know, any time you give up two shorthanded goals in a game, you're not going to win, um, regardless how hot your power play is. So it was a it was a tough night. You know, I thought um, defensively we were poor. You know, and, and that's all of us from from the goaltender out. You know, that's forwards not coming back and and helping out and. It's uh, it's one of those, you know it's it's a difficult difficult year for everyone right now. Just uh, we we have to play at our absolute best to to compete every night. And when we don't, you know, we let in six seven goals and we just can't afford to do that. And obviously a big game tomorrow night against Fife, a team that we have had some success at. There, a really good opportunity for the guys to engage what has been working. Yeah, we've gone into to a building that's been that's been trouble for us, you know, in past few years and, and done well so far this year. It's just, you know, it's it's just disappointing that we can't get that at home for our fan base to get them back behind us. You know, we haven't given them that that reason to get excited, but on the other side of it on the road, we've been we've been playing very well, you know, which is which is just crazy. You know, it just it, you don't see it too often that a team plays better on the road than they do at home. So it's um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough night in, in, in Fife. I know they're back to full strength, I believe now, and, and healthy here. So it's going to be a, another tough climb. We got to, you know, like I said, we got to pick ourselves up and, and again, another chance to, to get into that fourth place, which was what we wanted tonight. Uh, results went our way. We wanted to move into fourth. We. Uh, we let it slide away, you know, and it's it's been a it's been a common theme here, and it's it's uh, it's difficult. So certainly a game with plenty happening in it, plenty of goals, short-handed goals, power play goals, but in the end, the right result for Coventry Blaze. You must be delighted with the way the, the team performed. Really, really happy. Um, you know what? I think it was key for us tonight to get that first one, and then when we added that second one, you could just see the confidence kind of roll throughout our lines. And uh, you know, our three forwards were our three forward lines all looked dangerous tonight, and um, our D we were a bit short on the back. Obviously, Canton was missing, and and, and usually. Callie would fill in for him and he was missing and um, a couple guys under the weather but they kept things simple 
back there. They kept the shift short, and they did a great job. And you know what, Stewie made a couple big saves, especially early in the third there in the game when they were when they were pushing us there and on the PK. And I think there was one in the third there was a two-on-one, and a guy batted one out of the air, and he went post to post and, and saved it with his toe. So, I mean, those are types of things that win hockey games, and, and we had a lot of them tonight. Yeah, and also so important when there's a lot of penalties flying around, they're going against you. Uh, killing them off is so important, but you don't often get two short-handed goals in a game like that, do you? No, no. You know, Stewie's got great speed, and um, I think he identified with four four forwards on, on Braid's PP unit there. You know, you can take advantage of that, and um, two great goals. I mean, the first one was a beauty. What a great shot. I don't think the goalie had a chance. And, you know, we gave up three. We gave up three on, 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 on the penalty kill, which is, you know, unlike us, it's been a strength of us this year, but to, to get two and, and, and get some timely goals was huge tonight, and, you know, I'm, I'm, it's just great performance all around, Especially on the road. Well, first of all, Benny, welcome back to Brayhead. What was it like stepping out onto the ice tonight? Did you remember to go onto the right side? Yeah, yeah, I know. I used to it from Cardiff, I suppose, but just nice coming back. Like I had such a good time up here the, last, the two years I was here. So, yeah, it was just a, a good experience. You got a really warm welcome from the fans at the start as well. It's it's not always the case, that is it? Were you surprised by that? <laughs> no, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad for one. But uh, no, the, the fans were good with me the last two years and, and, and I appreciate all the support I've got. So. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was really good. The fans were all delighted for you heading over to North America and that, that trip worked out really well. Back in the UK at the moment though, are you settling back in here? Yeah, I am. It took, it took a little little while to obviously get things going, but um, yeah, it was it was a crazy little time obviously coming back from America and I ended up signing in Coventry and, and things are working out quite well, so yeah. And obviously things working out well tonight for Coventry as well, a really good result in the end, quite a comprehensive result uh, when you look at the scoreline in the end. Yeah, yeah, I guess it was a close game up until the last 10 minutes or so. But but yeah, um, yeah, it's nice to get a good win and obviously get seven goals and, and hopefully take it on for the next couple of weeks. So. Good to see you back, man. Thanks yeah, very much. Good to see everyone. Cheers. Thank eh? you. Cheers.